Hi friends, I'm Amy and I'm one of the Yellow 2 teachers. We miss seeing you guys every week and I miss getting to teach you guys and see if see kids. This week, we are gonna learn about the 10 commandments. Can you guys count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 commandments. God had something very special that he wanted to tell his people. He had 10 laws. Hold your hands up again. 10, 10 laws for his people to obey. These laws are called commandments and they would help the people live happily with God as their king. Now remember, every time we read the Bible, we learn more about our awesome God. This week, we're going to learn that God's way is the best way. Following rules can't save us. Only God can. So we're going to read about the Ten Commandments in the Jesus Storybook Bible. Okay? If you want to read along, I'll be starting on page 100. And the story is called Ten Ways to be Perfect. So there they all were. Grannies, granddads, babies, uncles, aunts, children's moms, and dads out there in the middle of the desert. They had blisters from all the walking. They were hungry and thirsty and much, much too hot. We don't like it, they said. It stinks. And so did they for that matter because no one had taken a bath in weeks. Now remember, because this is something they had forgotten, God had done amazing things for his people. He'd hidden them inside a cloud, he'd moved the sea, he'd set them free. But God's people still weren't happy. They didn't care about being free. Wasn't it better when they were slaves? At least they had lots of nice food to eat. God doesn't want us to be happy, they said. It was, it was the same lie that Adam and Eve had heard all these years before. God has brought us, brought us out here to kill us. God doesn't love us. But they didn't know God very well, did they? Every day of their journey, God kept on showing his people how well he would look after them if they would trust him and obey him. When they were hungry, God made the sky rain with food, bread coming down from heaven. What is it? They asked each other. They didn't know, so they called it, what is it? Which of course is a very good name for something when you don't know what it is. When they were thirsty and started quarreling, God made water flow from a rock. Moses called that place quarreling because that seemed like a good name too. And still God's children didn't trust him or do what he said. They thought they could do a better job of looking after themselves and making themselves happy. But God knew there was no such thing as happiness without him. So God led them to a tall mountain. God wanted to talk to his people and show them what he was like. He wanted to help them know him better and tell him about the special land he was going to give them. The whole earth belongs to me, God said, but I have chosen you. You are my special family. I want you to live in a way that shows everyone else what I'm like so they can know me too. God called Moses up the mountain. The great mountain shook. A thick cloud fell, thunder roared, lightning crackled. And God gave Moses 10 rules called commandments. I want you to love me more than anything else in the world and know that I love you too, God told them. That is the most important thing of all. God gave them other rules, like don't make yourselves pretend gods, don't kill people or steal or lie. The rules showed God's people how to live and how to be close to him and how to be happy. They showed life worked, they showed how life worked best. God promises to always look after you, Moses said. 
Will you love him and keep these rules? Yes, we can do it. Yes, we promise. But they were wrong. They couldn't do it. No matter how hard they tried, they could never keep God's rules all the time. God knew they couldn't, and he wanted them to know that too. Only one person can keep all the rules. And many years later, God would send him to stand in their place and be perfect for them because the rules couldn't save them. Only God can save them. So friends, these rules to show God's people how to live and how to love him and each other. With these rules, God shows us that God's way is the absolute best way. If the Israelites obeyed these rules, they would live happy lives and things would go well for them. But remember, God's way is the best way, but following the rules can't save us. Only God can. So this week, our memory verse is in, from the book of Jeremiah. So it's in Jeremiah 33, 3. And it says, call to me and I will answer you. Okay, so you guys answer, put on the phone, say, call to me and I will answer you. And I will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know. We miss you guys so much and look forward to seeing you soon.